our uh, thing was zeros in the quotient, and right now we're doing a problem of 61 divided by 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times, which equals 6. 3 times 2 is 6, so you put the 6 down. And since our thing is zeros in the quotient, we have to have a zero in our answer. So 2 goes into 1 0 times, that would be our zero in the quotient. The quotient is just another word for answer. And then 2 times 0 is 0, so, and then we have a remainder of 1. That was our first problem. Now we're going to go on to a little bit of a harder problem. See, now this is a non-example. The first one was an example. This one's going to be a non-example. Okay, so 6 goes into 6 once, of course. And then 6 times 1 <laughs> is 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0. And then you bring down 6. 6 goes into 6, uh, six <laughs> once. And then it's 6 again. So 6 minus 6 is 0. And then you bring down another 6. And it goes into that, so it's one, one, one. Since it doesn't have a zero in the answer, that won't be what we're trying to explain right now. So that's a non-example of zeros in the quotient. The first one was 30, and 30 had the zero in it, so that would be the right answer. Okay, now we're going to do an even harder problem. Okay, so how many times does 9 go into 86? Oh my god. 9 goes into it 90, 9 times, which is 9 times 9 is 81, then... 81 minus, I mean, 86 minus 81 would be 5, and then you bring down your 4, 9 goes into 54 6 times, and then you take 54 minus 54, which equals 0, and then you bring down your 1, 9 goes into that 0 times, and there's our 0 in the quotient, and... <laughs> Then it would be um night. I don't know what he's doing, but okay. <laughs> and that would be the answer. And since there's a zero in that, that is Stop the answer. It. You guys, we're gonna have to do this over again. No, we're not. That's so messed up. What's well, not?